12 minutes to go, and there's a goal! Oh, Hibbert has taken the inside rear wheel of New Club and turn six. I'm Owen Trinkler, driver of the number 64 Chevrolet Camaro GT4R for Team TGM. But then we come back to 2018 when we have Team TGM and the AMG Mercedes, and we get on a roll there as far as our, how consistent we were in 2018 and finish fourth there. And that really propelled our year uh, to be super consistent and get some wins that year also and clinch the championship. So that kind of really started at Mid-Ohio. Um, our third race in. Yeah, so busy Friday. We had two practice sessions going into qualifying here shortly. You can see the guys are getting uh, the car ready. But first practice, track was really green here at Mid Ohio today. Like, must have got a lot of rain. Um, in the last couple of days because it's super dusty, not much rubber down on the track. When we say the track's green, we need the rubber to kind of build up from the tires to help the grip level go up. Uh, practice two, it's a couple hours later, so a little bit better. Uh, I think we end up seventh in that practice, so car's pretty good. Um, just getting it ready for qualifying for Ted here at 6 o'clock tonight. Three, two, one, and see where he puts it on the grid and uh, I've got the 46 car Hugh's going to qualify that one but guys have been working really hard so with two practice sessions and qualifying having a compressed schedule on Friday makes it really really busy because on Saturday all we have is the race you know Saturday afternoon So just a lot going on and guys are just prepping everything and see what we do in qualifying. So qualifying went well yesterday. Uh, my brother Hugh qualified in fourth. Um, better than fifth, not as good as third. Uh, happy with it in that, uh, you know, it is difficult to pass around this racetrack. So having some sort of track position um, like that is, is helpful. Um, we've got a great car. The Camaro GT4 is, you know, a very balanced um, platform throughout an entire run. Um, our hope is that some of the other cars aren't and that over the course of the race we can just keep chipping away, make no mistakes and um, you know, find ourselves in a position where we can at least defend. Uh, I think there's a few cars out there that we're going to have a tough time pace um, competing with. But that's always a situation you get up to deal with. And as long as, um, you know, it's, it just all comes down to doing the best you can do with what you have.
I think our first uh, run was um, kind of something the team needed. Yeah, so I mean, kind of up and down day for Team TGM. The 64 car, start with that, Ted. Did a good job on opening stint, ran some of his best times. He's run here at Mid-Ohio. Um, I got in, probably ran about 10 laps or so, but then we started to get some smoke in the cockpit, which we've been down that road a little bit. We had the power steering failure at Sebring, uh, but this time it was the rear diff. But the car was really quick, though. Um, it was starting to get really loose and some right-hand turns, so I started to smell something in the cockpit. And then the boys saw it on uh, TV also. So we ended up having to retire this car. First DNF for us this year in the 64 car. But I mean, you ride that wave like we just talked about, there's a little momentum. I get out of the car and the 46 car is in the lead. And the boys did a great job on the pit stops, even for our stop and for their stop to get them out front. Uh, they led probably a handful of laps, but they got a late race caution. And um, that just brought the fuel to them. We had a lot of potential today. Um, as always, Team TGM does an amazing job with preparation. Uh, our trip here, uh, despite the snow, we were able to find a really good setup. Probably the best handling car I may have ever driven in, in Michelin Pilot. It was, a, it was a good race up until uh, the car had an issue, but I think we, we, uh, we fell down. I, I unfortunately uh, fell down two laps, uh, but we were in the process of going uh, getting back. The car was fast and it was all attributable to the setup. Uh, Owen was running only a tenth of a second off of Matt's time when we had to retire the car, and it was, uh, Matt was in the lead at the time. It was, he was the fastest car on the track. So, uh, all in all, I think we learned a lot. We got the setup right. Um, I think the, the, the team feels confident we're going to be a contender. We're going to be in contention for, for, for wins and certain podiums. So I think that the overall is a 